everyone. This is your reading for Friday, the 18th of August. It's really nice to be with you. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Law of Attraction Tarot. It's a very realistic kind of deck. And the Law of Attraction kind of being a theme at the moment. And the way we think and the way we create our lives for ourselves is kind of... Um, up for discussion at the moment so that's why I'm using this deck and you can see how realistic it is you don't usually see computer screens in in tarot cards so this is super modern so let's see what we've got we have got the four of pentacles then we have the knight of cups and then we have the nine of pentacles which is is that a giant cigarette What's he doing? Wow. So he has got the discipline to give up this giant cigarette. Wow. I mean, I used to smoke. I used to smoke. And um, it is really scary to stop smoking. And it does require some willpower and discipline. But if you do it with willpower and discipline, like anything in life, you're doing it by yourself and you're using your own ego energy and it wears you out. Whereas if you, you know, you allow other people to help you, it's much easier. I gave up smoking by reading The Easy Way to Stop Smoking by Alan Carr. That worked for two weeks and then I started smoking again. And then I read The Only Way to Stop Smoking by Alan Carr about eight years ago, I think. And that book, oh my God, it's, it's, it's 700 or 800 pages long about cigarettes and smoking and it's repetitive. So I read that whole thing and I stopped smoking. And w when I thought of picking up another cigarette again, it was always like, uh, you're going to have to read all of those 700 pages again. <laughs> and that's enough to put me off. These days, I, I, I looked at it recently that Alan Carr is no longer with us, but his work is, thank God. He, he has saved millions of lives, our man. And, um, the course is now also in video format, so you can do it on the website. Um, it costs a hundred pounds. It's four hours long, but I stopped smoking, and I smoked for I smoked for many years. I smoked from the age of I think fifteen to twenty five, or six. I smoked about ten years. It's awful. It's a horrible thing. So let's see. Okay, side sidebar. Four of so four of pentacles is about keeping things safe. And having a need to protect things. We had that in uh, reading previously as well. It's about maintaining the status quo and safeguarding your life and making sure that your life is good internally and kind of protecting it a little bit and looking after yourself and really uh, being kind to yourself at the moment and saying, you are my priority, as in you, your own individuality you're my priority right now i'm going to make you safe i'm going to make sure that you're protected and it's self-care so on this day you, you do well with self-care and because you're protecting yourself you're able to meet other people without fear or or um expectation or wearing your heart completely on your sleeve or being desperate or vulnerable because you've taken care of yourself and you've sorted yourself out, you've safeguarded yourself. So you've, you've said, okay, this is who I am. I know myself. Um, I'm going into a situation today where I have to meet someone. I tend to be emotionally sensitive as an example. So what I'm going to do today is in the morning, I'm going to meditate and I'm going to, um, get in touch with my higher self so that I, you know, get in touch with the real me. And then what I do is I tend to plan how things could go. So the best possible scenario, the worst possible scenario, go there with an open mind and don't let it affect you because it's, it's, it's just one of those things you have to connect with other people. And, um, having good boundaries and sometimes protecting yourself and not wearing your heart on your sleeve, especially if you don't know the other person is important so that you don't get hurt. Sometimes we do have to protect ourselves a little bit to uh, not get hurt. Okay. So on this day, you're, you're safe and you, you're in that mode of, I want to protect myself. I feel somewhat vulnerable. So I do have to protect myself. That enables you to have 
positive interactions all day, which do not upset you. And the great thing about this, I don't know if, if it was this way, it was this way around, wasn't it? Yeah, because I turned it around deliberately. So it was this way around. And the nine of discs, the nine of pentacles is discipline and reaching abundance and prosperity and success through discipline. So in this deck, they've likened it to stopping smoking, okay? Stopping smoking, let's, I mean, without getting into it, if you use discipline and willpower, you're really going to struggle. You're going to white knuckle it and it's miserable. The, I mentioned that book because it's a much easier way of letting go of smoking and being happy about smoking as soon as you put that last cigarette out. Because the worst is when you stop smoking by willpower, you sit there, it's like, okay, I've done one week. Okay, I've done two weeks. I've done three weeks and then it's all it's it's like you you kind of build the pre you set yourself up to fail with the with the willpower method it just doesn't work so today you have great self control and you're safeguarding yourself you have great self discipline you have um the ability to really manage your emotions so that you can go out into the world and you can have positive relationships with other people. The thing about this is that um, you feel vulnerable in a sense. You feel like you have to protect yourself. And the interesting thing is that you're picking up on um, a lot of kind of chaotic emotions floating around in the atmosphere. So you're immediately going into this day intuitively sensing that there is the potential for complicated, conflicting and po potentially harmful interactions with other people and you're doing everything right. You're making sure that you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. If you're very thin skinned, you've asked for help to, you know, have continue to have your good heart and your open heart, but to not be so directly affected by negative things and you have the discipline to let go of negative things so if on this day you do have to have interactions which are unpleasant or if you're um yeah if you don't have a choice around that you have the discipline to end those situations if you want to. So if something's really unpleasant, but you feel stuck in it and you feel like, oh, I have to keep shaking this guy's hand. I have to keep cooperating. I have to keep doing this. I'm disciplined enough to, you know, deal with it, but it really doesn't please me. It doesn't, this isn't an enjoyable relationship for me because I have to protect myself because I know I'm going to get hurt. If anything, today, I think you're really building yourself up to leaving something. And I think you're really building yourself up to say something which is going to destroy that handshake because you don't like it. It makes you uncomfortable. And I think today you may have the self-discipline and self-confidence to give up a bad habit like smoking, to give up a bad relationship that doesn't serve you, that you always have to protect yourself from. What you know, If you have to protect yourself, then it's not a good relationship anyway. And even though it seems like it's a very cooperative, uh, two-sided thing. It's causing a lot of grief for you. So ask yourself, is this situation, is this relationship really worth the internal kind of turmoil that I have to go through every time I get into contact with this individual or with this thing in my life? And rather than kind of, you know, soldiering through it, should I just use my discipline to let go of it once and for all? Or do I need or do I want to keep doing it and kind of do I feel like I'm, you know, becoming more resilient and tough as a result of staying in this situation? I mean, the message here with smoking, you know, it doesn't make you tougher. It I mean, you have to be tough to even smoke because it's so harmful to your system and it's just so nasty and makes you feel horrible. People who are smokers have great willpower anyway because they're able to smoke. So this isn't a situation that has a happy outcome. You know, if you smoke for 30 years, it's, you're not likely to have a happy ending. It's much more likely that you have an unhappy ending. So the relationships here that are going on for you today, um, really, I think you have an insight into what works and what doesn't. And you may have the confidence to actually end it if you don't like it.
Because why would you continue in something like that that's constantly painful and makes you feel like you're getting harmed? Just be careful um, that you are clear about what you want to do. So if you, you know, if you want to put an end to the relationship once and for all, just make sure that you're doing that because you've thought about it a lot and you're not just doing it on a whim. And I don't think you would be doing it on a whim because you've built yourself up for this for a long time. If you're in a job that you've despised but you haven't had the courage to leave it, then today, if you've thought about it for a long time, you'll have the self-discipline and strength to, you know, claw your way away from this addictive, terrible situation that you're in. And then you can be free and then you don't need to protect yourself so much. And then you get your own hand back and you can be your own individual and you don't have to feel like you're under attack all the time. But don't do it on a whim. If, if it's a whim and if it's your ego and if it's saying urgently and it's the first time you've heard this, uh, this job is crap, leave it. But it's never occurred to you before, then just let that pass. But if that thought has been there for the last couple of months or even years then acknowledge it and do something about it today. Don't just keep repeating everything just to maintain the status quo. You know, do something about it. You're not meant to be, and we're not meant to live lives of addiction or, or being imprisoned or constantly having to protect ourselves. We're not designed for that. We're supposed to be happy and free and to be able to enjoy our lives here on planet Earth. Four and one is five and nine is 14. One and four is five, and that's about freedom. So you've got a choice. You can, you have a choice of staying in this negative situation, which you have to really kind of twist yourself into so that it, it works, and you have to really kind of go against your own values and beliefs, or you can choose freedom and let go of whatever is, is um, making you feel trapped, and you can really liberate yourself from, from, from something that is genuinely harmful in your life. Because this is not positive. It's harmful. So I hope you have a very liberating, freeing day. Let me know how this kind of shows up for you in your life on this day. If you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.